Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use and troubleshoot color labels in Lightroom. In this video, we're going to look at color labels in Lightroom. First of all, the simple stuff, adding color labels and filtering by color labels. And then we're going to get into the tricky stuff. Why, for example, when you think that you've applied a color label to an image, when you go to search by color labels, you don't find the image. It looks like it hasn't had a color label associated with it. Well, I'm going to show you what's happening under the hood in Lightroom and so that you can understand exactly how color labels work and so you could perhaps make better choices about applying color labels to your images. To start off with here, I have Lightroom's default color labels. And when I hover over them, I'm going to see what this label is. Well, it's red. And this one's yellow. And this is green, blue, and purple. So they sort of just mean their colors. But if I wanted to get started, I could say to myself, well, I'm going to color with the red color label images that I think I want to delete. So I'm just going to click on that image and set the label to red. And the way I have my grid set up, I'm seeing a sort of red coloring around the image. So I can see clearly that it has a color label associated with it. And I've found another one, so I'm going to associate a color label with that. Let's just go back to grid view. And let's go and find another one to delete. Well, this one here. So I've just marked those with this color label. And you see that it gets a sort of red color around it when I'm actually on the image. But when I move away, the red color becomes much larger. So let's say here, let's say for these two images, I want to apply a green color label because they sort of mean something different to me. So I'm selecting both of them and applying the green color label to them. Now you can apply that color label with the spray can. You can select images and click on it. So I'm not really worried too much about showing you the multiple ways that you can apply color labels. We're just going to look at the basics of applying color labels and filtering by them. So this toolbar here is for adding color labels. These options down here are for finding images based on their color label. Now, if you don't see those, just click on the filter word because you can see that when you click on it, it just opens up those icons so that you can actually use them. So let's go and filter by the red label. And here are three images that I applied the red color label to. To turn that filter off, I'm just going to custom filter and filters off. And let's see the green ones. I'll just click on the green color label here and we'll see the photos that have the green color associated with them. Now these can be cumulative. So if I want to see red and green, I can re-click red at this point and we'll see red and green. And I can click on any other color labels. We don't have any of those because none of the other photos in the collection have had color labels associated with them. I'm just going to clear this filter. So, so much for the easy part, applying color labels and filtering by those images. Now, Lightroom comes with other color label sets other than these. And you get to them by choosing metadata and then color label set. And you can see that there are different sets. We're using the Lightroom default, but there is a bridge default. Let's have a look at it. I'm going to switch to it. And now let's go and view it. So in Bridge Default, the red is Select, the yellow is Second, green is Approved, blue is Review, and purple is To Do. And you can see here that there are shortcut keys. So you can apply these colors by pressing 6, 7, 8, or 9. And it says down here, if you want to maintain compatibility with labels in Adobe Bridge, use the same names in both applications. So what Lightroom is telling you in a roundabout way is if you want to be able to see these same color labels when you're working in Bridge, then you should be using Bridge Default as your color scheme. Because that means that you're going to see these colors when you work in Bridge. I'm going to click Change. So we're now working with the bridge set. And you can see here now when I hover over these icons that they actually have the bridge words. So this is approved and blue is review. So let's mark a couple for reviews. So I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to mark it for review and this one too. And approve, well let's add a green tag, the approved tag to this image here. And now let's see what happens when we filter these images by our color flags. Well let's go to green. 
So this is a bit surprising here. This is the only green flagged image, and yet we know that earlier we added the green flag to a couple of other images. Let's clear this filter. And let's go back and filter out the red. Well, there aren't any, but there were some earlier. I actually applied the red flag to a couple of images that I wanted to delete, but for some reason they're not showing up now when I go to look at my red images. So let's see what is causing this issue. Just turning my filters off. I'm going to open up my metadata panel here. And I'm looking at EXIF and IPTC metadata. And I'm interested in this label field. So let's go to one of the images that we applied the green label to. And you can see here that the label is the word green. And this one we applied the red label to, so the label is red. But let's have a look at this one, which should we would have thought be green. Well, in fact, the label field is approved because that's the bridge default description of a green label. So what's happening when Lightroom applies a green label to an image is that the color really is just a color. But what's really happening is that a word is being added to the label field in the metadata. And Lightroom's using that to color this image green. But that also tells us why this image is not being marked green, because it's got the word green in here. If it had the word approved, it would be showing up as a green labeled image. So that solves the problem as to why these images are not appearing. When we ask for green labeled images, we're only seeing the current green label, the ones that have a word in that label field that actually matches the word that is being used right now for that label set. If we were to change back to a different label set, then we'll find those images. Let's go back to the Lightroom default. And now let's go and filter out the green images. Well, this time we see the ones that we gave that green label to the first time because they have the word green in the label field and that matches the exact same word that is being used for the labels currently in Lightroom. But of course, the one that had the approved label in it is not being seen. So you may ask yourself, how can you find images that have color labels associated with them, but which are not color labels applied using the current set? Well, there's an icon here, which is white. And these are images that have the custom label that tells us when we click on that, that these images have a color label associated with them, but that color label has been applied using a different label set. So this one is review, this is review two, and this is approved. To clear that, we'll just go back to filters off. So you can use this knowledge of filtering by colors to actually find images that have been flagged with a color label, but from a different color label set. Now there's another way to identify this issue. I'm going to press the backslash key to show the filter bar up here. I'm going to metadata. And then I'm going to change this date to be label because I want to see the labels associated with my images. Well, here are all the labels and it's spelled out for me. I have one image that has approved in the label field. I have two with green, three with red, two with review, and 30 that are not labeled at all. So using this filter, it's very easy too for me to select and view the images that have these color labels associated with them. So this would be a handy way of finding images that you had applied a green color label to, for example, but which you cannot find when you go looking for the green label on the filter bar here. You'll be able to see the word that's associated with them and perhaps that will help you find that image. Now, if you want to bring everything in line with each other, that's going to be fairly easy too. So we're saying that this approved image has a what was a green color label associated with it, but at the time we were using the bridge set. If we want to bring it up to date with our current Lightroom set, then I'll just show it here and click on green. 
and now it's going to not be approved but it is going to be green. So I can fix the problem if you like by updating my color labels to the current set by finding those that are colored with a different set and then choosing a different thing to do with them. Here I'll move those that have review in the label field and update them to the blue color label. And now review is no longer in use, but blue is. Before we finish up with this video, let's have a look and see how you could create your own color labels. We'll go to metadata color label set and choose edit. So you can now type and set red to be whatever you want it to mean. I've just changed a couple of these. Red I've set to delete and blue nice for class use. Now to save this as my set, I'm going to open up this panel here and save the current settings as a new preset. I'm going to type Helen in here so I know that these are my presets and click create. And then I'll click change and that will change the color set from the Lightroom default to my new set. Of course, I've just built in all those problems that we've just talked about because I already have some images that are labeled with color labels from the Lightroom default set. And that's something you'll need to be aware of if you make changes to your colors. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.